when people look at a lot of art on the street, Banksy is art, but it's definitely got a firm political feeling to it, yeah. or at least sort of a social message. Uh, do you think the work here has as much of that, or is it more for artistic expression than a social expression? Um, I think that because it's become such a huge um, scene that actually it hasn't, like, in terms of context, it's not, street art isn't, it's just so, like, it's wide, it's a wide context, and so some of it is completely one-dimensional, you know, it could be just a certain animal drawn again and again and again to get recognised, which I suppose is closer to graffiti, but it's still, it's not graffiti because it's, it's, it's like it's like street art is art outside and it's like a gallery that's been curated by the people who want to do it and so the only rules are that it's painted onto a wall and so the levels of what people might deem quality or you know anything is is just so varied um i saw that the uh the graffiti over on the back of the building, on the way down to the station, the one of the steel guy, the guy that made stainless oh, steel, yeah. has Harry been vandalised. Oh, has it been vandalised? Oh, I didn't know. I haven't you seen haven't seen that? Not there's, there's been like red paint thrown over his face. Oh god, yeah. On the, on the art. I mean, what does that sort of have to say about the temporary nature, I suppose? Because, I mean, when you produce art outside, I guess, like, you, you have the control when to put it up, but you don't have the control of when to put it down. And that's why everyone always says, like, will you be disappointed when it goes? And it's, and you never really, the whole point is that you're giving it to a place and then it takes on a life of its own, you know? Like, got a piece in Poland that's just got tags all over it and it adds to it. It's like, it's part of the, the process, people. Right. It's collaborative, isn't it? Like, yeah. Paint it. Someone might paint over it next week, that's fine. Like. The work you did in um, Pittsburgh, how, how, how did you sort of come to do that? Um, so the show in Pittsburgh was a comparison of steel cities, um, because Sheffield's a steel city, Pittsburgh's a steel city. I'd never been to Pittsburgh before, but I saw their twinned and I have a theory that the reason that people in Sheffield are the way they are is because of the past, you know, like the industrial past and that sort of community like feeds into a character, I guess, of a place and and so I wanted to see if the same had happened in Pittsburgh and so I went over there to see if it had and I think it had, yeah, so like, yeah. Right. Is that, so you, do you want to reflect that in your work a lot of the time, even if, even outside of that um, series? Yeah, you, I think I want to reflect the identity of a place through the buildings and the, the personality, I suppose, that people give. Like every, every aspect of a building has been thought about and designed by people and then people put, project onto it how they how they feel about the space and it takes on a life of its own and so I think it's really interesting how much we connect to two buildings. <laughs>